Three members of a North County family have been charged with defrauding the state employment agency to the tune of $1.3 million. As News 8's David Gompertson reports, the three defendants are accused of using the names of 64 prison inmates to apply for unemployment benefits. Ms. Marquez, you're appearing by video from Las Colinas. Judge Francis Devaney ordered us not to show the defendant's face in court Tuesday. May Rochelle Marquez appeared for arraignment on 16 felony counts that could put her in prison for up to 12 years. Will enter a not guilty plea, deny any special allegations. Marquez and her husband, Ryan Cabista, along with her mother-in-law, Stacy Wright, are all charged with unemployment fraud and grand theft. Marquez is accused of using the names of 64 prison inmates to file for EDD benefits, collecting more than $1.3 million in illegal payments. An arrest warrant alleges the defendants had EDD ATM cards mailed to several different addresses in Escondido, as well as UPS store mailboxes under the names of the prison inmates. And that investigators obtained surveillance images of Marquez and her husband withdrawing the funds from San Diego County ATM machines. Bail was set per the arrest warrant. The judge set bail at $900,000, in part because prosecutors thought Marquez might use the cash from the EDD fraud to bail herself out of jail. She remains behind bars pending a bail review hearing, now set for April 5th. Uh, you wrote it back on those dates, Ms. Marquez. Good luck to you in your future hearings. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the arrest warrant in this case does not say whether the 64 prison inmates were aware that their names were being used for this EDD alleged fraud. But keep in mind, when you apply for EDD, you have to provide a social security number. So we're going to have to wait and see as this case unfolds. Marcella? All right, David, uh, it's going to be a lot to clear up as far as the clerical side is concerned. But you've investigated these defendants, looked into their background a little bit. Have any of them been in trouble with the law before? Yes, all three of them have been in trouble with the law before. In fact, when they served the search warrant on Marquez's house in this case, they not only found 31 EDD ATM cards, they also found 30 grams of fentanyl. All right, we'll have to see how the case plays out. Uh, at least they're off the street for now. Thanks, David.